Hi there, thanks again for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about natural experiments and their importance and relevance to econometrics. So like last time we were thinking about the factors which might affect the lifetime income um, potential of an individual. And we spoke about lifetime income potentially depending on um, whether an individual has participated in military, um, but it also might depend on a whole host of other factors um, which might be sort of determined by the sort of lifetime income potential. So that might be things like education and innate ability. And, and the difficulty here, if we were trying to evaluate the effect of military participation on lifetime income, is that we spoke that um, people with lower lifetime income potential in the first place might join the military. So the problem here is that um, the observed differences between the civilian and military groups in average lifetime income might be due to, not solely due to this in the, the effect of individuals joining the military, but also due to the fact that individuals that sign up for the military in the first place have lower income potential. Um, so this sort of problem has a name in econometrics and we call it um, selection bias, which means that the individuals which participated in our experiment, or quasi-experiment in this case, might um, be a different type of individual to those which are part of the control group, so the individuals who are civilians in this case. So it's not a very pure experiment, and nor does it allow us to exactly unpick the causal effect of um, joining the military on lifetime income. However, a very sort of intelligent um, use of a natural experiment um, was used by Angrisk, um, Joshua Angrist, who's a professor at MIT, uh, who did a bit of empirical research in 1990, which looked at the Vietnam War um, and what the effects of military participation had on those individuals' lifetime income potentials. And he took advantage of a natural experiment in this case, which, which was to do with the draft process. So in 1969, um, the military, uh, the way in which individuals were conscripted, because conscription was in play, to the military was um, people were assigned a number, and that number corresponded, uh, or went from 1 to 366, correspond, each number corresponding to a birthday. And all these numbers were then put into a box and one was pulled out at random. And if, so if the number two was, for example, pulled out of the box, then all those individuals that had a birthday on the 2nd of January would then be conscripted or drafted to join the military. And notice that this draft process is completely independent of the individual's lifetime income potential. It didn't, it didn't matter what sort of sector of, or what, what sort of part of society you were drafted from, you had to join the military if you had a birthday on the 2nd of January. And Angrist used this um, in his empirical research as a sort of quasi-experiment or a natural experiment to ascertain um, the effects of military participation on individuals' lifetime income capabilities. And note that the benefits which this sort of experiment threw up for the researcher was that essentially it got rid of the selection bias because the individuals who joined the military here um, was completely independent of their lifetime income potential. So it was a sort of quasi-experiment which came about as a result of the draft process. I don't want to talk about the specifics of this particular bit of research here, um, but I will say that we're going to cover it later on when we talk about instrumental variables estimation. Really here I just wanted to talk about the, as social scientists, the benefit which we can get from appealing or looking for this sort of natural experiment. And note that the word natural here doesn't literally mean nature, it, it just means, in the context of, of experiments, 
an experiment which resulted as a result of some action occurring. So it could be human or it could be something from nature, but it just means that experimental conditions resulted from something else happening. That concludes today's video. Um, next time we're going to be talking about um, populations and samples and why they're important for econometrics. See you then.